Hi, this is Adi and my friend Vic. We're from Hardcore Superstar. And you're watching Loud TV. I'm only you, man. Thank you. That, that's, Thanks. That's good. Good to hear. Good to and hear that you like it. But that's that, that. That was the. We don't want. We don't want any fillers on the album. We want uh, strong songs from the first one to the last one. Cause that's why we work very hard on every song. Every song gets the same treatment, same hard treatment. It needs to go s through certain um, filters that mm. we have, that we set, set up before the, the album. Yeah. And when it goes through the filter, then it, it's either good or it sucks. Mm. The good ones we keep, the bad ones get to uh, under the Scram. carpet. Under mm. the carpet. Yeah, they, they can scram. Yeah. You can sell those. <laughs> we we wrote almost uh, we wrote material for a year and we throw that all that stuff away. So a year's work down the drain, <laughs> and uh, then we really started to write the album. So uh, it's uh, well, it we wrote a lot of stuff. It takes a while to find uh, a way. Yeah. And that's what we try to do. We that's we try to write a lot of songs, and af after a while, the good one sticks out even more, and the bad ones tend to just fade away. And so it's it's actually pretty good to spend some time uh, writing songs and then rest from the songs for a while, leave them, and just go back to them. Yeah. Maybe next album is going to yeah. be a progressive sleaze album. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a Sleaze thing. prog. Sleaze prog. <laughs> we knew what, what we wanted to do. And uh, we had a really clear picture of, of the, the, the how the album is supposed to be. And it was very easy. To, to find a way there. So I think we know ourselves the best. We know what we want to do. And um, it was easy. Well, other, st other starts uh, with the ideas, with the, with, the, with the backbone of the song, and then he sends it to us. So he's, a, he's got a clear idea what he wants to do with the song. We just kind of uh, give directions and we kind of uh, help each other out after the backbone is done. Yeah, yeah, in the studio it was very much like a team, teamwork, because it's like uh, Martin, he's like the technician, he knows the stuff, how to mic the stuff and get the good sound, and uh, Vic, he's like the king of arrangements of the song, like putting stuff together, and, and you know, we have different areas, you know, uh, and... Uh, if we don't step on each other's toes too much, we cannot learn how to not to step on each other's toes. Yeah. That's pretty much why we also made the decision to record it ourselves. Because if we if we do this together, we can make a great album. You yeah. know, we can trust our instinct nowadays. It's a statement. Yeah, it's a statement. It's a very clear statement that can be just uh, so clear. Of it, it's what we stand for and what we love doing. And if you if you do stuff as as you want and you follow your own path, then it doesn't matter what anybody else says. If you're satisfied, then you can't kill my rock and roll. And it doesn't matter what the critics say. If you're happy, then let them talk. You know. So who tried to kill your rock and roll? Oh, the business. It's a it's business, as it's called. <laughs> uh, always telling us that rock is dead, and business is telling us that rock is not happening anymore, and it's it doesn't really sell any tickets and blah blah blah. 
but I I don't believe that I've seen it with my own eyes I've been to Sweden Rock Festival I've been to Hellfest Download Festival Wacken Open Air it's very much alive it's just not up there with all these Beyonces and Kanye West and stuff like that but that doesn't mean it's not successful you know yeah. it's very much alive and creative and uh, Gene Simmons I'm sorry to say you are wrong uh, rock is not dead <laughs> you know? This whole religion shit going on, it's not to be taken seriously. That's why we mock, we mock them, uh, because there's too much tension in the world and religion is not helping anymore. It creates tension and it's not, religion is not to be taken seriously because it starts war and people kill each other. And we just want to show people that religion is just shit. That's why we make fun out of it, because it's not to be taken seriously, you know. So that's our angle, you know. Fuck really. I'm only you, man. I, I remember when we played with ACDC, I really felt like, okay, now we played with the biggest, coolest band on earth. Now I can die a happy man, because opening up for ACDC was a thrill, because I still, in my studio at home, I still have posters of ACDC on the walls. So, and to get to play with them and get to meet them was a thrill, as I said. Yeah, loved it. We uh, work hard on our albums and we're excited about uh, all the new stuff that we do. It's uh, that's the this big strength of this band is uh, us being as kids kids as as soon as the new album is is starting to take shape, the it's just the creativity is just enormous. Everything from videos to stage plots to props to to uh, video whatever, the artwork, the t-shirts, the, the it's just a, such a huge huge thing. Not just about the music, it's everything. How do we make this exciting after 20 years, you know?